Okay. Now, a recording of the findings. There are different methods of uh, classification. The Schaeffer method depends on the grade 4 is the widely open angle and the grade 0 is the closed angle. As here, widely open is the 4 or the 5 and the 0 or 1 is the closed. And the reverse is the shake classification. The widely open is the 0 and the 4 is the closed. So it's better to use English. This is a widely open angle or partially opened angle or closed angle. Speth developed another system of classification depending on the location of insertion of the iris. A means anterior to the Schwalbe's line, B behind Schwalbe's line, C sclera spare is visible, D deep that the ciliary body is visible, extremely deep that more than one millimeter of the ciliary body visible. Then the angle can be any of these degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40. And the curvature of the last part of the iris, is it steep, mean anteriorly convex, regular, means flat, or queer, means posteriorly concave. Then the amount of pigmentation seen at 12 o'clock can be zero pigments or heavily pigmentation from zero to four. Then get this classification. Choosing, say, from here, C means visible, and the angle is 20 degrees, and the last iris part is R, and the amount of pigmentation is plus two. So this is his way to, to classify the angles. We should record our things. This is the simple way. We get these two rings. The inner one represents the sclerous pair. The outer one represents the Schwalbe's line. So in between, you have the trabecular meshwork. Then you start to write down here, say, you get preferential synechia. Here, trabecular meshwork is seen, sclerous spare is seen. Here, in sclerous spare and ciliary body is seen, Schwalbe's line, and so on. So just you can write it down. I personally prefer this one. I just can make a drawing here. This would represent the last roll of the iris. So if I draw it here, trabecular meshwork is partially visible. If I draw it here, the whole trabecular meshwork is visible. If I draw here, the trabecular work, meshwork is not visible. So I just make these two drawings and start to use a third line with using my hand to, to tell which part of the angle the trabecular meshwork is visible and which part the trabecular meshwork is not visible.